Hello everybody, I am Pule and welcome to Belgrade, Serbia. We have had an amazing day doing various projects here and there are some amazing people also here with me in studio. Uh, we have Sonia, Hi. who is going to introduce some amazing stuff that were, uh, that were going on and also Alistair. Hello. He is a Teens and Community Services Director in Trans-European Division and also Chaplain at the Newbold College. Welcome to Serbia, a country of only 10 million people, a country that stands at the crossroads of Eastern and Western Europe, a country which capital Belgrade is a city that never sleeps, a country in which kissing three times on the cheeks is the order of the day, a country which is rich in flavorsome food, where paying the bill is a big part of the mentality, a country where hospitality kindness, openness and warmth are part of the residents' lifestyle. We have some amazing young people that were active today in Belgrade oh, uh, yes. specifically yes. and uh, with us we have also the Union Youth Director, Mitya. Mitya, can you introduce the youth? Yes, thank you. Uh, we have in studio here Zoran, Sanja, Nemanja, Tanja, Biljana, uh, Jovan and Christian. That's great, and hopefully you're going to have a good time. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a reminder, if you want to follow what's going on or to share what you have been doing, uh, just to remind you that you can download the app for Global Youth Day. Uh, also, you can uh, share it on Facebook. Trans-European Division um, also shares various pictures and videos what's going on throughout the division. And also Global Youth Day Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter can be used. Don't forget to use hashtag GYD17. Yes. Now is the time for the projects and the first city we are flying to, Belgrade. Outspoken, adventurous, proud and audacious. Belgrade is by no means a pretty capital but its gritty exuberance makes it one of the most happening cities in Europe. While it hurtles towards a brighter future, its chaotic past unfolds before your eyes. It's here where the Sava River meets the Danube and old world culture gives way to new world nightlife. Grandiose coffee houses find rightful place along Knez Mihailova, a lively pedestrian boulevard flanked by historical buildings all the way to the ancient Kalamegdan citadel, crown of the city. Deeper in Belgrade's bowels are museums guarding the cultural, religious and military heritage of the country. Belgrade literally translates as white city, but Serbia's colorful capital is red hot. Yes. Can't wait to see what the Bel Belgradians have done so far, so let's go to them immediately.
everyone, I am Miroslav Gagic from Southeast European Union. Here we are in Belgrade, Serbian capital city, a fortress from 6th century. This fortress stands here for 1,500. We had too many wars. And our job today is to promote peace. We have 60 young Adventist people dressed in t-shirts with military colors, but not to promote war. Today we promote peace. We promote peace in sharing books of Desmond Doss and red roses, what is a symbol of love and peace. Today we are sermon in the city and we're doing job of Jesus. And right now, nothing else do then better than book Hexo Ridge of Desmond Doss. All the best for all of you around the world from Serbia! <laughs> Right. That was... Honestly, that looked amazing, really. And I'm jealous. I... <laughs> okay, Mitya, can you tell us a little bit more about the action that was done today? Yes, Pule, thank you. We had a great time, but only not only great time, we, we had useful time. Yes. So, Bina, how is your experience about? As you just said, we definitely had a great time. We met so many different people from different countries. There were people from uh, Singapore, Bosnia, Israel, and France. We also had a special guest. That there was a lady who is, uh, who was a, who is a member of a parliament, and she actually uh, came to join us and invited us to dinner. That was really nice of her, definitely. Yeah. And, of mm. course, we are mm. so grateful to have this opportunity to work this way, to serve the Lord, and uh, to have this youth action. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes. Thank you. Yoni, how is it about you? Uh, well, this is one of the best days in my life. Yes. And uh, it was really exciting. And, uh, you know, uh, it's supposed to be rain. Yes. But we prayed to God and he heard us and he gave us a son. And I think this Amen. is a beautiful experience Amen. for all of us. Nice. Yeah. Amen. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, we have also our youth group uh, in the studio next door, and Yasmina is with them, so we are going to see what they are talking about. Hi, Pule. We had a wonderful time today, right? Yeah! Today we had a little action of giving out little leaflets about a book that we also gave out called Hexo Ridge, and we also gave out roses to people, and now I'm going to ask a few questions to to some people and see what their experiences were. Hi, Elena. Hello. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was so much fun. Like, we had such a good experience. It was unforgettable for all of us. And people were in shock. They were shocked because, like, they were getting things that for free and everything some people were like no it's not for me and they were passing by but some of them were like excited and everything and they accepted the gifts Th that's really nice i'm glad i'm gonna talk to dario and ask him a few questions hello dario hi so what did you do today well, I was with another group. We were dressed like soldiers, and we were giving out roses to people. And like Yelena said, they were all shocked and like, wow, we're getting roses for free. And there were, there were some people who came and took two of them for free for their friends or family. So, and they were really impressed but with things we did. And I'm really glad that I was a part of this section. So you're happy that you did this? <laughs> I am. I'm happy too then. Let's go on to the next person. Hello, David. Hi. How are you? Nice. Was today fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. What were people like? Well, some were like shocked, as Yana said, but it was a nice gesture because we gave them roses for free, and especially for the women, and yeah. <laughs> so you, you're happy that you did this? Yeah, the whole idea was just brilliant of us all um, hanging out together and doing something good, nice for the people. Yeah. That's nice. And now we're going get back to Pula. Thanks a lot for that also. We are going to the next city. Sonia, can you introduce it? Yes, the second project in a row in my hometown, the city of Niš. Serbia's third largest metropolis is a lively city of curious contrasts 
where Roma in, in horse-drawn carriages trot alongside new cars and posh cocktails are seen. It's a buzzy kind of place. live music scene that has been the trademark of the city for two decades. Open air clubs, pop-up markets and fun fairs that come summertime. Niche, a city of fairies, a food paradise settled in pre-Roman times. Constantine the Great was born here and Turkish rule lasted 500 years. From historical sites to nightlife highlights, you can explore the exhaustive list of all other local attractions. So, okay guys, it's your time. Your 60 seconds begin now. the place where you can try our specialty called Burek. We came here to play, uh, to help people, to bring their trust, to help them release from their shackles known as Davises, and to bring their childhood back. Our motto, leave your phone and play for life, because being useful to the world is the only way you can be happy. God bless you all. Great things from Nice. Well done. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Okay, and finally, let's travel to Skopje. Skopje is the capital of the Republic of Macedonia, a city that lies at the heart of the Balkan Peninsula at the crossroads of important communications, a city with a 2,000 year old tradition. A city with a beautiful quay of the Macedonian river Vardar, the narrow streets in the old bazaar, which is the biggest bazaar preserved in the Balkans today. A city internationally famous for being the birthplace of Mother Teresa, who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize and became a symbol of charitable, selfless work across the world. Fast forward to Skopje, it's your time, use it as best you can. At Skopje, we had a very, very good group of young people and youth leader Radar Isteski, and he made a very good project in Macedonia. They visited orphans, played with them, they bought them a new toys, balls and other interesting games for kids. The best part of the day was when they had a meal time. They invested a lot of efforts in it. You can see all of that in the rolling video. Thanks to all participants from Macedonia. Nice. Thanks a lot. Right. Well, within our union, we see that there was a lot of work uh, today. Alistair. You have been involved in Belgrade and you have seen what's been done within our union. So uh, what's your uh, uh, experience with all of this? I need to say I'm not going to leave Serbia. It's been, it's been a great time. I love it here. I've eaten too, I've eaten too much as well. <laughs> I've eaten too much good food. But, but going back to the program, I've been involved in the Belgrade program. I love what I saw in Nice and Scorpio. But I have to say Belgrade, the Green Army, to see young people excited about volunteering and making a difference in the life of others is tremendous. And it doesn't take much. A flower given at a book can make all the difference to our community. So well done, Serbia. Keep up the great work. And uh, I love being I'm not going home tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <gonna> keep you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Okay, I want to remind you about the Global Youth Day application. Don't forget about it. Join us. And if you haven't downloaded it yet, please make sure you do it right now, as soon as possible. Don't miss great activities. Don't miss wonderful projects that have been done across the world. Um, you have uh, seen some of the videos from Serbia and Macedonia. 
but we are going now to see some other countries and Alistair is going to introduce these projects. So we're now going to join somewhere slightly warmer than Serbia, as good as the food has been. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go, we're going to follow on to Greece, a place called Catalini. It's a small uh, group of young people with a youth director who have been working very hard to impact the community. And they've been doing very practical things. Water on a hot, very hot day, sharing fruit, sharing books and different material just to engage with the community. So let's have a look at this very short video. So as we can see, Greece, Catalina in particular, the pastor there was uh, Yanis, looking very good, very practical what they were doing. We're now going to move to Denmark, and we're going to a part of Denmark called Ulbe. Now, we have some young people there that have been working, not just today, but throughout the year with refugees. And also they have a, a, shop, a charity shop called Happy Hand. And it's a, basically, it's a shop that provides... Uh, charity items for people of the community but it's a very high quality uh, shop and the great thing is that young people are involved in that shop but also the community get involved which is absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. um, not only do they have a shop in Orberg they have two other shops in other parts of the country as well so we're gonna see uh, Heidi was the group leader uh, well done Heidi in your group let's have a look at some of the pictures as they had been in the church and also at a refugee center. This was today and I believe last week as well. We can see something that I like very much. Waffles is a very, <laughs> it's making me hungry. <laughs> but <laughs> again, <laughs> waffles is something very popular in Scandinavia with honey and jam. Heidi is the lady in the picture there, the leader. Uh, we're working with people from the community and refugees. And in many countries we see many refugees, but it's so great to see our young people engaging with these refugees, giving them hope, giving them something to look forward to, and bringing fun in their lives. So these are some of the pictures from the, the refugee center, and a great picture of uh, the group. No waffles there, I can see. <laughs> but they're smiling, and they look very, very, oh, waffles again. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they look happy. And Heidi's had too many waffles, so. <laughs> but I uh, said, so give a round of applause. <laughs> I'm not sure she's going to like the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was Denmark, and we're going to follow on with our last uh, clip, which is Finland. Uh, we have a youth group from Helsinki and a youth group from Turku in Turku. And what they were doing, I probably haven't pronounced Turku very well, but what they were doing was, again, in a local high street, they were singing songs, uh, sharing fruit, sharing drinks, many different things. During, during the actual program. But one of the great things about this program is that right now they're having a youth pizza church. I love pizza too. <laughs> but what they were doing is they were encouraging people from the street to come to the church, and that's fantastic. So we're going to look at the video. We see the youth director of Finland, Yanni, and our TED youth writer, Latko, who's probably had some pizza as well in this video. So let's go to the video. Right, the plan is that we are going to reach the people of Turku. We are going to give them tea and cookies and try to uh, give them leaflets and stuff and hopefully they will come to our pitch church and do the, do the divine services. So hopefully God is with us and we can spread the gospel. Hey, we're going out to hand out those beautiful leaflets. 
and uh, yeah, we have different kinds of events going on. So I uh, believe God is going to bless it, and uh, it's going to be great. Hello from Turku, Finland, and today we are enjoying the sun and the Global Youth Day. And young people are active on the streets. They meet people. We, they uh, they offer them tea. They offer them smile, and then they're inviting them to pizza church to spend nice time together. Yes. Enjoy your Global Youth Day. So, well done Finland. Uh, what was very interesting in that video is uh, they were wearing scarves <laughs> oh, yeah. and they needed a hot drink as well, so <laughs> we're not there. But I think overall for all of the countries within the division, this year has been a record year of applications for Global Youth Day. So I want to give everyone a round of applause. Well done everyone for the creativity, the innovation that they've put into the project across TD. We're very proud of you, and let's not stop here. Let's continue throughout the year, and let's go bigger and better next year. Well done. Uh, I believe that the main message is uh, just get the food out, and that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be great. <laughs> okay, we are going back to Yasmina and the youth group in the studio next door. Well, Pule, we watched other people from other countries and saw what they did today, and I asked my friends what they thought about that, and here are a few comments. Naša iskustva su sjajna, ljudima smo darivali poklone, oni su bili oduševljeni time i to je bio naš način da svedočimo o Bogu. Thank you, Slobo. Jelena? First I want to say hello to everyone that are watching. And I'm grateful to our God that so much people were included and willing to help other people. And thank you so much to everyone. I hope that we are going to have new actions, new ideas. And I'm really proud that I'm part of this. Thank you both. Back to you, Pule. All right, I must admit, uh, I'm quite jealous in a way. Um, this generation had an amazing uh, day and activities. We yes. maybe kind of missed that mm. uh, in our generation. You're but right. You're this right. was really nice. Uh, Mitya and other, other young people, uh, what would you like to add maybe to, to today's experience? Yes, maybe to say that this is first time in Serbia we have Global Youth Day and a lot of young people react to that and came to Belgrade and Niš well and Skopje and from my, my point for, of view it was a really great time and very useful time. Yes. Nemanja, how is your experience? What can I add? Uh, a wonderful day, great uh, experience. Um, I never been um, involved in a project like this, mm. and this was great, really, really great experience for me. I will be short uh, because um, I think that we live in a um, very busy world. Yes. We don't have time for anything. Sure. Uh, sure. We don't have time for uh, each other to, to talk with, her, with each other. Mm. And uh, I think that a project like this is uh, very important for our community. Mm. And uh, people were was uh, very, um, they was very, I know how to say. They like they they like uh, that uh, young people came out and uh, do something for free, and yes. they they don't want anything uh, to to receive, so, yeah. and that was very, really great. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I am thankful for this opportunity to be in uh, involved in such project. Sure. Yes. Okay, Zorane, how is your experience? Well, today was a great day, and I was amazed when one lady came to me with our magazine and asked, asked me if I have one more book for her. And uh, we ran out, but <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> promised her that I will bring a book next wow. week. And it's amazing that people really need a lot, and we need to work more. Excellent. Yes. All right, um, Sonia, we are my, maybe not that young anymore as these teenagers <laughs> that are active today, but uh, okay. what would you add maybe? Yes, then? the power of will, I guess. Uh, so the power of motivation that brings happiness and joy in little things. Uh, love in action. Mm. Okay. All right.
Well, we hope that you enjoyed the program, that you are motivated to do for yourself yes. something that is going to impact your community. And we wish you all the best from Serbia and be the sermon. Yeah.